Jackie Turner. I'm from Brockville and uh, I have the pleasure of being a part of this amazing event that Kelly Mathleray has put on for us in support of MS Society. So there is a donation link and button. We're going to go through a 30 minute uh, lightweight workout with a chair or if you have a stability ball that's going to work just fine too. We're going to go through a little bit of everything to get the blood flowing, the body moving, the muscles working and uh, some lightweight dumbbells. We're gonna come down and do a little bit of core work on the mat near the end. We're gonna do some rep counts and we're gonna time some things and do a little bit of some isometric work uh, with the legs and the arms. All right, it's 10 o'clock, we're gonna get started. So we're gonna sit down first in your chair and we're gonna start warming up the legs. We're going to go for one minute, and all we're going to do in this minute time is you're going to hang on to the side, and we're going to do some leg extension. So we're just going to flex. You're going to keep your feet together. Flex and straighten out your knees. Press your heels out a little bit so your feet are loose, and then we're going to release. And this is how we're going to get started. We're going to go for one minute. You can go at my pace for everything, or you can go at your own. Uh, with anything timed or counted, if you can't complete or you can't finish the time, all that matters is that you're moving and you just do the best that you can do. All right, we're going to start with this first one. So you're going to flex and release. Now, I have been doing quite a lot of body weight exercises anyway because chins are closed right now and we don't have access to a lot of heavy equipment and I find this kind of stuff is very effective as well for strength and endurance and toning. And you're going to feel your thighs lighting up on fire if you haven't been used to doing too much. Now while we're exercising you want to remember to be breathing as well. We're going to go for 10 more seconds with this exercise. And we've got five, four, three, two, one. Good. I'm just going to move my chair to the side, a little leg extensions. We're going to start that over again. So I'm going to get you to straighten that leg right out again. We're going to flex the heel and hold. We're going to go for 30 seconds. If 
you guys so much for participating today. And we've got 10 more seconds to go with this one. Four, three, two, one. Good. All right, we're gonna come around next to the back of your chair. You can hang on to a chair or you can use the wall if you wish. And we're gonna get into a lunge. So you're gonna bring your toe back, okay? And we're gonna sink the knee all the way down. We're gonna press and bring it back up to the top. We're gonna go for 30 seconds each side. If you're more advanced and you wanna hang on to some light dumbbells with your lunge, go right ahead. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, down and up. Keep your chest up, your back straight. Make sure that your knee is staying behind your toe. If it's coming over, just widen your stance a little bit. And only come as low as is comfortable for you. We're gonna go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna switch up your legs. We're gonna stretch back. 30 seconds, down and up. position, but we're going to come down and we're going to hold that position for 30 seconds. So we're going to drop your knee, chest up, we're going to keep it nice and low and hold it right here. It's important to breathe through this. If you can't get through the 30 seconds, that's okay. We can pause, bring it back up to the top and then try to finish. And we've got just 10 seconds left to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good job. Shake it out a little bit. We're going to switch legs. Same thing. Drop it down. And we're going to pull 30 seconds. Ten seconds to go. Breathe through it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Shake it out a little bit. All right. We're going to come back down onto your chair. That was round one. I like to do things in rounds of three. So we're going to go through those exercises one more time. And then we're going to incorporate some upper body. So we're going to start with your leg extensions. We're going to go for one minute. You're going to hang on. We're going to flex those knees, press those heels, and release. And make sure you're holding it long enough to really feel the contraction before you release. And when you're coming up, try to lock those knees in. Keep your heels pressed and your feet together. The second round, we're really going to start feeling your legs light up. We've got 30 seconds. And again, don't forget to breathe through it if you're feeling the burn. And go at your own pace if you can't keep up with me on this one. And we got five. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right. We're going to do single leg extensions and we're going to hold 30 seconds. Bring it up and we're going to breathe through. Halfway there. Try and keep that leg up. Don't let it 
the drop down. Try to keep the knee locked. Keep your heel pushed. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Other leg. We're going to bring it up. Press that heel. Flex that quad. Try to keep it elevated. Take some time to get away. Fifteen seconds to go. If you're just tuning in now, get yourself a chair where a stability ball is good too. And some light dumbbells. We got five, four, three, two, one. Good. Alright, we're gonna get right into a sit stand for one minute. All the way up, when you come up to the top, make sure you fully come to the top and pop your hips out just gently to release your back, sitting back down. Make sure that your feet are out far enough that they're not tucked in. Okay, you want to have a good 90 degree angle. Your feet should be hip width apart. We've got 30 seconds. And if you wish to donate today, there is a link in the comment section you can click on. And please stay tuned after this. Uh, we have Dan Lewis coming on next, and he's going to be doing some breath work with you guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, we're going to come around to the back. Again, you, can, you don't need a chair for this one if you don't want to. If you want to make it more intense, you can hang on the dumbbell. We're going to get into lunges. 30 seconds each side. Chest up, toe pointed, nice wide stance. You're going to drop that knee as low as you comfortably can. You're going to come all the way up to the top. When you fully come up, stay on that back toe. Try not to touch the heel down. And again, always remembering to breathe. And we got five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna switch, point your toe, chest up, drop that knee, 30 seconds. Thank you so much for commenting and letting me know that you've tuned in. It's so nice to hear from everyone. We got four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, we're going to go right back to that other leg. We're going to drop that knee down and we're going to hold it there for 30 seconds. We're going to breathe through. Again, if you can't make it to 30 seconds, pause, come back up to the top. Give yourself a couple of seconds to rest. And then try again to finish. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, switch the legs, drop back down and pull. This side's gonna be a little more challenging. We're gonna breathe through halfway. And we got five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, shake it off. Last time, third round's a charm. Take a second just to grab a sip of water. We're gonna go through these exercises for lower body. One last time. And then we're gonna do some stuff with arms and abs. Okay, we're gonna into your leg extensions. One minute, last time, here we go. So if you haven't exercised in a little while and you're feeling that this is a little bit intense right now, if you seem to be feeling sore in your thighs, especially tomorrow, just keep your fluid intake up, drink lots of water. And the best thing to do is if you're feeling stiff, is just to go through a few more rounds of some seated leg extensions 
to get the blood flowing, flush out the lactic acid, or even just going for a light walk will help to reduce any soreness. You can also take a hot bath with some Epsom salts. That can be very effective as well. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna hold one leg up. 30 seconds. Thank you so much for participating. If you've just joined in, please feel free to start right now where, right where we're at. And there is a link in the comments section and a donation button as well if you wish to donate to MS today. We have three, two, one. Switch legs. Fifteen seconds. Keeping up with your strength and your balance is very important if you have MS. These are exercises that if you do have MS, you can do um, every day, every other day, to keep up uh, with your strength and balance. That's time, and it's really going to be very beneficial to you. Great, easy uh, things to apply to do at home too. We can't make it into the gym and use different equipment. These body weight exercises work great. One minute, last time, sit and stand. Hey, if you're just tuning in, my name is Jackie Turner. I'm from the Brockville area. I'm a personal trainer, holistic nutritionist. Uh, and I've had the honor to be a part of this today. Thanks to Kelly Mazzori for organizing this amazing virtual event. This video will be um, available in my feed to do over and over again. It's not going to go anywhere if you weren't able to tune in at this time. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, last time for lunges. Here we go. 30 seconds straight up and down. If that we're really feeling our thighs right now. You guys are doing great. And we got five, four, three, two, one, switch. Straight up and down. Nice and tight to your side. 
We're gonna bring the weights, drawing it all the way up to the shoulders and release. And we're gonna go for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, that exercise targeted your biceps. We're gonna flip it up. We're gonna get into shoulder presses next. We're gonna go for 15. So all the way to the top, all the way back down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and five, and physical distancing measures. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. It's time to stop rearranging the utensil drawer. It's time to stop baking bread. It's time to stop looking okay, I just got permission a little bit longer than 10.30. Perfect, thank you, Kelly. All right, uh, the next exercise we're gonna go through, if you are finding a uh, five pound weight too challenging, the other thing you can get to are those wrist weights. You can get those for your ankles too, doing the leg stuff, and that's gonna help to um, advance you if you're just starting out. Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the triceps. So I'm going to turn the chair around a little bit here. We're going to go through quite a few exercises that uh, well rounds out working out all aspects of your upper body today, just so that you have them and you know. You're going to bring your elbow right up towards the ceiling and keep it locked in tight to your side. And you're going to straighten that arm all the way out. You're going to feel a contraction in the back of your arm and that is your tricep. Then we're going to draw that weight back in without dropping that elbow. So you get to concentrate, you get up nice and high. So we're gonna strain it out. We're gonna go for 15 each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, awesome. All right, we're gonna do your other arm. We're gonna bring that elbow up, lock it in, straighten it out, pull it back in. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. All right, we're going to sit back down in your chair. Another useful tool that I really like to use uh, is a medicine ball. This is a five pound ball that you can purchase. Uh, at Joe Fresh, and it's really a nice, useful tool for uh, exercise. I like to use it for core, but you can either uh, use a five-pound weight. We're going to hang on to it this way, or you can just make a fist. We're going to do some oblique twists. We're going to go for 15 each side. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the body. We're going to drop and twist. So you can use your ball. You can use five pounds or just rotate. All right, we're going to do 30 in total. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, 
three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve. 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15. We're going to stick with that rotation. We're going to hold your weight the same way or use your fist. But what you're going to do is you're going to push away using your chest muscles. We're going to pull back, squeezing the center of your back. We're going to push out. We're going to try to keep your arms away from the body and we're going to rotate. So the whole movement uh, is a push, sorry, it's going to be a pull, push, twist. So you come back to the center, we'll start it at the top, squeeze it in, push it out, twist. We're going to do this one together. We're going to go for 20 in total, 10 and 10. So let's start it at the top, at the front. Sorry, let's do it starting. So in, out, twist. In, out, twist. There's one. In, out, twist. In, out, twist. There's two. In, out, twist. In, out, twist for three. In, out, twist. In, out, twist for four. In, out, twist. In, out, twist for five. In, out, twist. In, out, twist for six. In, out, twist. In, out. For seven, in, out, twist, in, out, twist. For eight, good job, in, out, twist, in, out, twist. One more time, in, out, twist, in, out, twist. Good. All right, we're going to work the abs a little bit in your chair next. You're going to hang on, and all you're going to do is you're going to draw the knees up towards your stomach. We're going to lift, squeeze, and release. So think, you might have to sit near the edge of your chair, but think about drawing your knees in, touching your feet back down. We're going to go for 15. One, and a little bit more of an advanced option is if you want to push and pull and push and pull, you can do that as well. But low, an easier option, we're gonna stack your knees in and release. We're gonna go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to come back around. We're going to do some side shoulder raises. So we're going to go for one arm at a time. We're going to lift right up to the side and release. And switch arms. Again, weight for body weight. Totally up to you. If you're advanced, you can go, go heavy if you wish. We're going to go for 15 and 15, alternating. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, 
for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and five, four, three, Two. One, you guys are awesome. All right, tricep extensions next. I would really encourage you guys to come back to this, do this video again in a couple of days and maybe even add an extra round in. Remember, keep your elbow locked in nice and high for this one. Flex and release, just like a hinge. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Other side. Here we go. One, two. Okay, this time we're going to go together, both arms at the same time. 
Up for 15, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good stuff. All right, we're going to draw your knees in for fifteen. So again, edge of your chair, hold it in and touch down. Or if you're more advanced, you can push and pull. Fifteen, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Awesome. Good job. I wish I had more time with you guys, but that was a pretty good, well-rounded, a little bit of a uh, full body everything. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you haven't had a chance to take a look yet, there is a donation link and a button uh, to support MS. Again, uh, my name is Jackie Turner. I'm a registered uh, nutritionist and personal trainer. Thank you so much to Kelly McElroy for organizing this. Uh, up next, Dan Lewis is going through some um, breathing work with you guys, so please join in for that and uh, stick around for the rest of the event for today. Uh, I will have this video in the news feed to do at uh, a time of your convenience, if this was a convenient time, and I will be uploading it onto my uh, YouTube channel, Jacqueline Turner. Thank you so much, guys. Have an amazing, amazing day.